tonight a tour. This is the normal area that we would register someone and check their photo ID and make sure that they're okay to vote. Racine election officials bringing us inside the city's mobile voting truck. These are actually five working poll booths. So all of these are actually where voters would go and are able to vote on their ballot. Just hours after our 12 News Town Hall and claims by Republican candidate for Governor Timothy Rampton. We've got issues with vans driving around in Racine County collecting ballots right now from people. That's illegal and there's no, no stoppage to this. When you hear candidate for governor saying that. I invite him to come, right? Come, come see it, come look, come be an observer, come sign in and come watch the process. We are certainly not driving around collecting ballots, nor are we open except for those noticed times. The truck, election officials say, is a mobile in-person early voting location staffed with election workers, typically at two different spots in the city each day. The city purchased the truck in 2020 using grant money from the Centers for Tech and Civic Life, a nonprofit facing scrutiny from Republicans and funded by Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. Definitely I've had a lot of observers can't come and no one can see inside it. Definitely false. Also that it's a ballot drop box, which it is not. It is only open when we are open and it is staffed and noticed. City election officials say they'll use the van through Sunday when in-person early voting ends and will also use it ahead of the November general election. In Racine, I'm Matt Smith, WISN 12 News. Racine election officials say voters can register at the truck when it's operating and also return their own absentee ballots. The clerk says both Democratic and Republican election observers have been in the truck during early voting hours.